And I believe we are back. Market 49. Okay, let's go. Come on, finish with the things. What? One of my guys was hired by Denmark. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Money's good. Money's good. I'm not going to say no to money. I'm not recording this. I better be. I better be. This microphone on? I'm paranoid. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh my god. Thankfully, I'm in the butt end of Europe. I am literally Europe's asshole. Okay, let's, let's, let's just sit back and with some popcorn. Oh wait, I ate all the popcorn. Damn. Alright. Let, let, let me just get my nail clipper and watch Castile thoroughly ravage. Peasants getting uppity. At times when peasants experience harsh subjugation, some of them will turn against their landlords and then rent free communities. I heartily approve. These things happen. You want to be a little bitch and enforce serve them and treat your slaves like in, treat your people like slaves? Uh huh. Well, this is what happens, dude. I'm a progressive free thinker. All right. I don't care about your little issues with. I'm air quoting right now. Issues with rights and civil equality. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I, I want to have a progressive country. Okay. And if that's bad, fuck you. I want a quest for the new world, but I need a trade technology at 7 and it's currently at 4. So what? I need more money. I'll just go with the uh, National Tax Modifier, maybe? Nah, I'll just go with the National Trade. Nah, National Tax Modifier. No, I don't have enough mon country. I don't have enough of a country to actually have a National Trade Fund. <laughs> so I'll, yeah, I'll just take this one. I don't know. Might it make some of a difference? Is this on minimum? Yes, it is. Hey, can I trade somewhere else? This is a religious map mode. Can I trade? Okay, so everything that's not... Uh, everything that's not striped is accessible, which means I can trade through Ile de France. Which only has 200, again. Ah, <sighs> baby steps, I guess. Baby steps. Eventually, I'll be too spread out to be, you know, effective. Because the second I get a monopoly somewhere, literally everyone else in the world is going to go and actively try to murder your merchants. Because apparently people have some sort of issue with monopolies. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you're taking away all their money? I don't know. I can build a church. I want to build a church? Let me just see this. Stability cost. Minus revolt risk. Spy defense, minus revolt, but stability cost, college, a world risk. You know what? I don't care. The government tab can go fuck itself. I want government technology because of the ideas, but that's pretty much it. I, I want to go. Oh my god, I, I hope to god this game warns me when the Master of Mint dies. Because if he does, right? If he. Oh, he's Austria. Bruno von Hodach. Well, good old German efficiency, I guess. <laughs> oh. I hope I hope to God they tell me when he dies, because when he dies, it's, it's, this is pretty much like plus 10, 0 0.0 weight a year. Alright? Even the tiniest amount of inflation is like a little bug to me. I hate inflation with my gut. Why is Castile at war with Venice? And why has Venice managed to capture the Asturias? Asturias. Thank God, Venice lost. My God. Wait, you just had a war. You just had a war with Aragon. You're telling me you actually managed not to conquer anything? I'm surrounded by idiots. I am literally surrounded by idiots. <sighs> My God. Yeah, you want some military access? Yeah. Uh, oh, great. Good relations, I guess. Can I can I quit the mission? I want to discover the fucking islands and stop colonizing. Fourteen five. Eighteenth June fourteen. Ooh, constable. Ooh, I like that. Right. That was the biggest misclick ever. 
uh, th th that's pretty much uh, Force of Habit, because that used to be like a build tab right here. I'm still not used to Divine Wind. I'm actually still not used to Divine Wind. I'm used to the old things. You know, like Heir to the Throne, and especially in Nomine. I've only recently got Heir to the Throne. I've only recently begun playing this game again. It's been a while, which is exactly why I didn't go with Muscovy. As you can see... Oh. I was half expecting Muscovy to be tattered to shreds, but it hasn't. It's actually pretty good. Oh, wait, no. Why is... This country didn't even exist! Did it? I don't know. There's bound to be some Russians out there. If, if Muram existed as an independent entity, please tell me. And apparent... Oh god, no. <sighs> okay. Let us, let us roll... the dice. What if I pray for his life? No? Yes! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. I guess. Oh, whatever. Commission painting. Oh wait, no, I have to build shit. I have to build things. I have to build constables for taxes. Taxes are good. I love it I can just build buildings. And then your countrymen will immediately decide that it's a good idea to start paying more taxes. I don't know. I don't know how constables work. Let me just look at the flavor text. Let me just get this one. I don't like looking at flavor text without having the opportunity to build. I am OCD-ish in this. Never mind. Constable increase in direct tax in the province. The maximum benefit is gained from the provinces with the highest tax income. That doesn't explain anything. That doesn't explain why building a building suddenly makes people pay up more money. Am I organizing lynching mobs? Am I? Am I? Am I basically telling people you're gonna pay more taxes, otherwise they're gonna have these bastards going whacked with a stick? Will that work? Huh. I have to remember. I, I, anyone remember to to? Uh, I remember remember me to mail that idea to the government. Hire people with sticks and have them wave them at people and ask for taxes. That's gonna have. That's gonna have to be one of the best ideas ever. Please just fucking use it. Okay, just remember me. Just send send a letter to your local representative. Tell them to use that idea. You want to build? You want more taxes? Fine. Get someone. To hire someone. Get them to shake a stick, and that's it. People will pay more taxes when under the threat of physical arm. Wait, didn't we used to do that? Didn't we used to call that a dark age? Oh, never mind. Whatever. <laughs> we got out of those. We're, we're enlightened people now. We have iPods. <laughs> what? That was literally the most random thing I've ever heard. <laughs> From my mouth. Johan, the XXII10 uh, plus 10. Johan, the 13th. 23rd. There have been 22nd. 22 Johans? I severely doubt that. This is, I mean, in the middle of everything else. Was there a time for 22, for 22 Johans? Like, were the first 20 popes named Johan, and then they started thinking, mm, maybe we should think of another name. I don't know, I think it's randomly generated. Not sure, I think it actually is. Dude! Oh my god. Just release, dude, Bohemia. Literally, just release these nations as vassals, and not only will you get powerful permanent allies, you'll get more imperial authority. You can need as much authority as you want, as you, as you can, bro. I mean, by the time the, the religious reformations come around, you're pretty much fucked. Alright? I've played your game. It's horrible. Trust me. It's terrible. Everyone's gonna start... I don't know. Everyone's gonna randomly decide it's a good idea to adopt these crazy new religions popping up, and you're gonna lose authority, dude! Oh my god. You're a terrible emperor. I could... You know what? I'm Portugal, and I could be a better Holy Roman Emperor than you could. Because apparently I operate through reason. Church and armory. I can build three docks. Three, one. I have five. Or I have docks already. Four to. Let me guess. Algarve? Aldej? Lisboa? Kredej? Yeah, okay. So it's three provinces I can build docks. Okay. A dock. I just want to get my trade trade technology back to eight. 
Back to eight? No, back to seven. No, up to seven. Jesus. To the administrator! Wait. Sic oculos, sic ille manus, sic ora ferebat, the 1419 graduating class of very university is exceptional. Ooh. Of course it is. Unicidad de Veda. Of course it is. It's a great university. As the graduation festivities die down, whole classes of fresh graduates support for duty across the country. Where shall we direct them? To the administration, obviously. It's a fucking class, and I get one magistrate. What? Is this a measure of T? No. Maybe it is. Maybe this is a team of magistrates. Would make sense. I mean, having five merchants sent to a random place would constitute a threat. Maybe it's five groups of them. Yeah, I'll just go with that. In order not to have my head implode, how stupid it is to have five magistrates active at one time in a country. Even, a, even this size. Oh, fuck you, Aragon. No one likes you. Just fuck off, whatever. Ah, uh, peace and quiet. I love this. It's peace and quiet. I'll just get my armory up. It's good to have... Oh my god. I have much too little... I need more money. I need more money, and I need more money now. Wait, can I cancel the mission? Yes, I can. Oh, please, 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 please. The fuck? <sighs> if only I had discovered my vape. I am saluting right now because I love my country's navy. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, if only I give a, if only I gave a shit about spies, but I don't. Oh shit! This game did not warn me. I now have 0 0.4 inflation. Oh shit! See, look at this. Look at this. 0.3 percent. I'm gonna have to go and hire someone now. I hope you're happy. Thank God. Master of Mint, Master of Mint. Great, great, just fucking great. Just fucking great. Great, great. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine with this. I'm fine. What's your point zero two? I'm fine. Yeah. It's gonna take me twenty fucking years. Whatever. I'm fine. Bastards. You gotta fucking warn me. You gotta warn me that the guy died. Maybe we're now minting uncontrollably. But no. I, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine that one of my crucial advisors just happens to randomly die off. And I don't get even the smallest warning. That makes perfect sense. Jesus Christ. Do I want an armory? I better just invest now because later on I'll have, I'll have my hands full. I need to have good manpower, just in case. I mean, I'm playing this as a true neutral, yes, but I don't know. Eventually, I'm gonna have to go to war with someone. You can't play Europa Universalis completely neutral. Unless, of course, you play something like Ceylon, which is literally out of the way for everyone. Free trade? Oh god. Not in Lisbon. That was my one trump card. My one safe haven. Luckily, no one gives a shit about Lisbon. <laughs> Armory, thank you. When can I... 1425, no oh, more than enough. It's more than enough for me to build armories everywhere and then recover money. I hope. <sighs> Stop asking me for an alliance, Castile. I swear to God. I swear to God. See? It's minus 25% from land versus naval, but... I don't know. Having, the, having these little buildings help. Helps. Galicia. Oh, maybe I could ask for vassalization. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I better not. I better not risk it because eventually these guys are gonna. Eventually these guys are gonna get a annexed by Castile. And if I'm allied with them, I either help them and get curb stomped, or not help them and suffer a massive stability hit. Uh, prestige hit. Sorry. Not that I give a shit about prestige, but I don't know. I think it actually negatively affects your allies or something. I don't know. I hate diplomacy in this game. It's like it, it, it's too lifelike. Diplomacy in this game pretty much falls down to which country you want to piss off the le the least. There is no winning situ 
Lithuania is huge or we ship. There's no winning situation in this country, in, in, in this game. In terms of diplomacy, you lose always. Somewhere, even if you win, out there somewhere you lose in some way. <laughs> it just it just works like that. It's getting harder to be peppy. I haven't slept in a day. <clears throat> I love this music. I love this music. They really do. It's a great soundtrack. Okay. Uzvoma is stable in the Ulsia. Not stable. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Where am I sending these? Yield de France. I'll just stick with Andalusia right now, okay? Iberian trading. Until, of course, I manage to find myself in a position where I actually have decent fucking trade efficiency and compete chance. When is it? March 1st, 1425? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, look, they're at war again. Oh my god, no. France is getting dangerously big. This is bad. This is very, very bad. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Wait, where am I getting all this money dumped from? Military maintenance, advisor salary. Oh, right, because I. I have to reduce. Oh, well. You have to spend money to make money, I guess. There we go. Oh, two in a row. Fuck yeah. Let me just repair these ships. Fuck yeah! Okay, so I have two possible colonies. I just have to send them. 83%, 83%. I guess I'll go and have the yearly colonists thing. Oh, but that means... Oh, never mind. Oh, I'll just do it. I have enough money to get me through this play. I have enough money to get me through. Can you hear the song? What's, what's the song? What, what's the song go? Can you see the sunshine? Can you see it lighting up your day? Hills off, hills off. Drone the first one hill knock can I I'll shut off all the nobles. As far as I you know, I'm a pro people man, but decentralization is never a good thing. Ever. <laughs> decentralization is exactly what it sounds like. It's you telling your country to not have a centralized government. Which will give you a whole set of nasty, nasty anti What do you get? Decentralization, the only maximum thing, the only good thing you have by that, that decentralization is your war exhaustion, your maximum war exhaustion, like your limit, is only X. At the cost of production efficiency, national tax modifier, spy efficiency, and actual spy defense. Sure, you get mine, you get maximum war exhaustion with centralization, but look at the bonuses. I mean, Jesus, I don't plan on going to war. Even if I, even if I do go to war, I don't plan on spending all my war efforts. In, I lost myself. Oh, I don't. I don't spend. On, I don't plan on attrition warfare. I plan on just getting a massive army ready. See, that makes no sense. There's no such thing as sugar in my data. My data produces bananas, as far as I'm aware of. In real life, at least, sugar. This is really just because the AI just randomly rolls for something. And gives you ridiculous things. I have had tobacco here. Alright? Europeans didn't even know about tobacco. Tobacco was American. And apparently I get tobacco in Madeira. Okay, well. I'm getting dangerously close. I think I actually got to the time limit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the video now. And I'll resume exactly where I am right now. Lithuania is huge. I'm getting a bit scared. So yeah, I'll see you uh, right about now, we'll just save this, 
and I'm on a roll here, so I'm just going to keep recording. See ya!